What's up, it's Danny with Peach State Overland, and this is my 2008 4Runner Limited 4-Wheel Drive Overland build. So we're gonna start around the front, and I'll tell you a little bit about some of the things that I've done, and then we'll walk around the side, the back, and check out a few other things. So to start with, here in the front, I've got a CBI front bumper, a winch bumper, uh, equipped with some recovery points. Uh, it's the A-frame bar, or the A-bar, uh, and it's also got a Smittybilt X20 12,000 pound winch uh, for recovery. Um, Got some Morimoto halos here in the headlights, uh, just for cosmetic, it's good fun, makes for some fun photos. Um, sitting on 33 inch or 285 7017 Falcon Wild Peak MTs. Uh, just picked these up a couple months ago and I love them. They've been really, uh, they've handled very well on the road and incredibly well off-road, very grippy. All right, so for my lift, I've got a three inch lift. In the front, I'm running Toytex uh, three inch coilovers on top of Bilstein 6112s. Uh, in the back, I have Dobinson's 677 variables, which is a progressive coil to handle some of the additional weight that I've got in the back. Uh, honestly, I've got so much weight back there now that they're not really enough. So I'm gonna be upgrading pretty soon, probably to the Dobinson's 701s. Uh, in fact, this lift total is about four, four and a half years old anyway. So it's time for all new suspension. Uh, it's pretty much shot and worn out, so um, be upgrading that pretty soon, and we'll do a video when that time comes. But in the back, it's the 677 variable progressive coils from Dobinson, paired with the Bilstein 5110 or 5112. I forget exactly which model it is, but uh, the 5100 series shocks. Here in the back, we have a custom storage solution that uh, Patrick and I kind of built together. Patrick actually started off building it for his truck, and then uh, we pulled it out of his when he built another set. I put it in mine and then I made a few changes to it. So I've got two drawers on the bottom. I keep all of my dry supplies, tools, and uh, extra parts and that sort of stuff in here, as well as my hammocks and uh, some ponchos and frog togs, flashlight, air compressor here in this ammo can, uh, more tools in this one. Uh, everything that I need basically for anything that uh, the truck might need is all in this drawer. And then in my second drawer is all my recovery gear. Um, so I've got some ropes, got my winch controller, got a couple of grips, um, a few other things in here, and um, most importantly, duct tape and zip ties. Usually I've got a, a Dometic CFX 75 dual zone fridge in here. I took it out for a little while uh, just because I hadn't needed it recently, and I'm probably going to be upgrading that uh, to another Dometic fridge here pretty soon. I've also got the Rego fabrication molly panels here in the back, which really helps with gear organization storage and that sort of stuff. Uh, I'm a big fan of Blue Ridge Overland Gears pouches. So you can see I've got a couple pouches here on the inside on my panels. I usually have a couple more over here um, that have kitchen stuff in it when the fridge is in here. So I've got utensils and forks and knives and spoons and all that stuff usually hooked over here. Um, but I'm a big fan of Blue Ridge. They make some great pouches, especially first aid pouches. So this is all of my, um, Major first aid stuff that if something really goes wrong, I need that pouch. Ah, freaking a. Uh, and then actually inside the cab on the headrest of the passenger seat, I have a smaller FAC pouch for all the stuff that you need kind of on a daily basis. So like Tylenol and ibuprofen and Tums and um, just, you know, quick stuff like Band-Aids and that sort of stuff. On the back here, we've also got the uh, unicorn of unicorns, the CBI hybrid swing out. Uh, rear bumper for the fourth gen 4Runner. Only about five or six of these really were made for production. Um, not really sure why, because it's an amazing bumper and it fits to the form of the fourth gen, which is why I love it. It looks a whole lot better in my opinion than the plate bumpers, um, just because it, it moves with the curves of the truck and that looks a whole lot better in my opinion. Uh, so I've got some Max tracks and um, you know five gallon jerry can, um, CB antenna. I've got my GMRS antenna up front. And then again, Blue Ridge Overland gear, trash bag, which really helps um, when you're out camping or out on the trail or whatever, and, and there's, tra there's always trash. So uh, we always try and kind of clean up and leave the place better than we found it. Uh, on both sides, I've also got the uh, C4 fabrication sliders uh, that are the upgraded Dom tube. And then we also put some bullet liner on there with UV protectant to uh, keep them looking good and fresh. They've been on there now for two to three years, I forget, but they still look just like they did the day we put them on there. Uh, up top, I've got my James Baroud Evasion XXL Evo rooftop tent. 
Uh, basically a king size bed, so there's plenty of room for me and the kids or um, whatever. And I also rent this out through Expedition Georgia um, for $85 a night. And then on the other side, I've got a CVT awning, 79 inch awning, uh, which is great for hanging out and laying around in the shade. Um, in the inside here, I've done a few things that I can show you. Let's move this ladder out of the way. So we've got the Blue Ridge Overland Gear seat molly panel organizer. It's got my, like I was talking about earlier, the smaller FAC kit on the headrest, and then usually a couple of pouches. The kids love that because they'll put their Game Boys and um, little handhelds and phones and all that stuff in there. It helps organize all that stuff, get all their cords out of the way. Um, I'll also keep a few things in there too, cords, power cords, stuff for any electronics that we have on the trips that we need. Um, that way they don't get lost in the cab of the truck, which, you know, that's always a pain. Um, I always keep a five pound fire extinguisher in the front so that I've got real quick, easy access to it. Uh, I also normally have a tablet mounted right here, but I don't have it with me right now. Um, this is just a simple, cheap, you know, tablet mount that I got off of Amazon. Some RAM mounts here for the phone and then another one over there for one of our GoPros. Um, I usually run a BTEC 50 watt radio for GMRS communication on the trail with the team or when we're guiding. Uh, and that's about it. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, hit the bell so that you get notifications when we post videos. This is Danny with Peach Dad Overland. Big love. Later.